The editor cursor blinking setting lets you change the cursor animation in VS Code. You can see that by default here, my cursor is just toggling on and off, so it's either completely on or completely off. Now we can use this editor cursor blinking setting to add a smoother animation or disable the animation entirely. So let's take a look at this setting. To start, I'm going to open up my VS Code settings with Control, comma or Command, comma on Mac. I'm just going to put my settings to the side of the current editor so we can see the effect of the cursor blinking setting here. I'm going to search for blink. And I want the editor cursor blinking setting here. Again, you can see that the default behavior is blink, which means that the cursor is either going to be fully on or fully off, and then it's going to toggle between those every half second. Now, if we wanted a smoother animation, we could go and change this to smooth, for example. So now when I click back in my editor, you can see that there's a little fading in and out here as the cursor is actually toggling on and off. It's still going every half second or so, but there is a nice little animation and a nice little fade here that's going on. Now, another animation that you could use is actually the phase setting. And with phase, it's going to stay a little bit, uh, it's going to stay on a little bit longer here. So it's not quite as abrupt when it's actually fading between things here. It's going to have the cursor look more like it's staying on and then fading out quickly after that. So you can kind of experiment if you like a smoother cursor animation and see which one actually makes sense when you're going and moving the cursor around in the document. Now, another option, and this one is more distinct than the other two, is expand. So with expand here, let's just click back on the editor after changing it to expand. You can see that my cursor is now uh, visually collapsing and then expanding. So I find that this one is good because it, it really helps you identify where the cursor is in the file. This animation really stands out and you can quickly identify this. So you might want to try that if you're having trouble finding the cursor sometimes. And then finally, if we want to just disable the cursor animations entirely, we can go and change this to solid. So with solid here, you can see that when I'm moving my cursor around, there's no cursor animation at all. So it's just always going to be this bar, no animations or anything like that. Try experimenting with some of the different cursor animation settings. You might find that you like having an animated cursor where it fades more smoothly in and out, or you could actually disable the cursor blinking entirely if you find that distracting. So that's a quick look at the editor cursor blinking setting in VS Code.